God was in the midst of them. The sea saw them. It fled. <laughs> Divine presence is the capital outcome for engagement in kingdom advancement stewardship. God's presence goes with you on the road, in the air, on the bed, at work. You secure God's presence naturally. And barriers bow. They clear the way as you appear. Can I hear you, amen? amen? He sent them to go to the place where he himself will come. You are on the go, he goes with you. You are on the go for him, what? He goes with you. You are on the go for him, he walks with you. You are on the go for him, he walks through you. You are on the go for him, he walks for you. It's amazing. It's not this Torokobo kind of thing we are talking about. We are talking about the greatest asset of life, bearing divine presence. All those people talking about me here and there, they have never said it in my presence. When they see me, God bless you, sir. You are such a blessing to us. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, people like you is what we need now. <laughs> the same people. <laughs> Who dare you? Abawa. Jesus. Are you blind? You can't see what I carry? Divine presence is the seal of our triumph over the battles of life. Divine presence. Divine presence. Divine. So I've never said to someone, Jesus, Lord, I said, when you're song. No. That was long, long ago. Not now. How? How? Go out with the coin of your divine presence because you have it. You're on the go, it goes with you. You're on the go, it goes. He said, Lord, I'm with you always till the end of the age. Shall I end this way? I spark this off on Saturday morning. You don't have to remind God of your works to be rewarded. He remembers by himself. You don't have to remind God of your works. God's not unrighteous to forget your works. He's not unrighteous to forget. He doesn't remind that. You can remind him of his promise, not of your work. He sees your work in secret, he rewards it openly. You don't have to ask him. Abraham, my servant, I remember my promise to Abraham my servant. Psalm 105 verse 42. He remembers by himself. He remembers by himself. I've never reminded God, pay me, oh God, don't forget. Once. Once. Now, it's 42 years running when I saw that secret. You don't remind God of your work. It's not unrighteous to forget. So, so stop waiting for the world. Start working. Keep working. Keep working. You don't need to remind them, God, you know I'm working. No, don't, don't remind them. Matthew says, says God who sees your, your, sick, your labor in secret, he will reward you openly. Ever there. So get set. Before this first half of the year is over, demonstrate to God that you don't have to remind them of your work. Work like never before. And let him show up like never before in your life. You want to see what you have never seen, then get set to do what you have never done. If nothing about God moves you, nothing about you will move God. Forget it. All this Papa, pray for me. It won't change your soul. Papa can't change the Bible. Which Papa? Where is he coming from? The scripture cannot be broken by any anointing. They wouldn't believe Jesus. He couldn't heal them. Jesus? Papa. Say, Papa, even pray for me. Papa, pray for you. It's not, it's not your obedience. It's not. I say, I pray for you. I say, be blessed. That's if you are serving him. Prosper. That's if you are a giver. Come on now. Somebody is blessed already. It's your month. Come and say, this is my month. Say it loud. This is my month. This is my month. I'm breaking forth into new realms this month. I am breaking forth into new realms this month. God is changing my level this month. I'm breaking new ground this month. You don't need to remind God of your work. He reminds himself to reward you openly and he will. God will distinguish between those who are serving him and those who are not serving him. The time is now. 
when the heart begins to burn like an oven, it's time for God to show who is serving him and who is not serving him. May you be counted worthy on that positive side. In the name of Jesus. Not just serving God, but serving God faithfully and fruitfully. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. Proverbs 28, verse 20. Fruitfully. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You made ten more from the one I gave you have the authority over ten cities. Huge surprises. Many shall hit huge surprises this time. Say, men shall hit huge surprises this time. Yeah. Surprises beyond your widest imaginations. Yeah. And I hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. From one pound, you made profit of 10 pounds, and you now have a reward of 10 cities. Your level is changing. Yeah. Your level is changing. Yeah. So it's not about being involved, it's about being productively involved. You won't lack resort this month. Lift up your right hand, everybody, and give God thanks. No degree of darkness can challenge the authority of light. Light has come. Darkness must give way. Light has come, and darkness must give way. Light has come, and darkness must give way. Light has come, and darkness must give way. Light has come. And darkness must give way. Light has come. And darkness must give way. Light has come. And darkness must give way. Thank you, Father. For any act of mockery that any one of us may have been carelessly engaged in, bow before the Lord and ask for forgiveness. Because <laughs> the end is always bitter. Ask for God's forgiveness. For any kind of misgiving, misrepresentation, a mockery of the move of God, of testimonies of the Lord in life of people, ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for, ask God for forgiveness. Don't look smarter than God. That's playing the fool. Ask God for forgiveness. Amen. Ask God for forgiveness. And he will forgive you. If you confess our sins, let's try and just to forgive our sins. And to... So, Set us free from all unrighteousness. Ask God for forgiveness. Help me never to mock your move anymore in my life. Help me to line up with your move every day of my life. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody will say, you know, the reason why Papa is driving this, he wants the church to keep growing. Listen to me, I've been doing it before I was called to ministry. My heart for God won't let me rest. I've been involved in this five years before Jesus called me to ministry. Running crusade for Jesus. <laughs> I've been doing this years before, eight years before I became a pastor. So I wasn't doing it so I can pastor a group of people. My heart for God is behind what I'm doing. Somebody said, You know something? Papa cannot eat without people paying tight. So he was struck. He testified. He came down here. So I said that, and immediately everything went down. And I said, God, what's happening? He said, what you said? What you said? I've been working prosperity before the church started, before church started. In reality of prosperity. Never begged. Church started in 84. I caught the life of prosperity in 82. That's nothing to do with church. It's to do with my personal covenant work. Caution, sir. Caution. The day I will say something here to impress you against the truth will not make me on the earth. Caution. 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 They have fought against this church across nations with not one defeat. We always won. Yes, sir. Without any human connection, always won. Not everybody in church is in church. Yes, sir. Be careful yes, sir, sir. who you listen to. Not everybody in church is in church. Not everybody in church is in Christ. Caution. 
Don't give the devil any inroad to your life. Don't give the devil any inroad to your life. It's the accuser of the brethren. When you break the covenant, he reports that he has broken the covenant. Are you going to break your covenant, God? No. Don't let your mouth cause your flesh to sin. Let us say that before an angel is one, an error. Why should God be angry with you and destroy the words of your hand? Caution. Set a watch over your mouth and a guard over your lips. Caution. My desire is that each one flows in the same realm of grace that this church is under. Amen. The grace of unstoppable breakthrough. Amen. The grace of irresistible breakthrough. Amen. The grace of not depending on any human person to find your way forward. Amen. The grace of God's favor unlimited. Amen. That's my desire. And the only way you can get there is to know what will take you there. Sir. You can't be walking with God and be assaulted by the powers of darkness. Invisible, invisible things will bow to you Amen. any day, any time, yes. walking with Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Now, for anyone under any scourge of invisible forces this morning, I decree your freedom. Amen. Every evil mark on your life that exposes you to the Affliction of the wicked, I command those marks erased by the blood of Jesus. Every agent of the devil that won't let you find your way in life goes down for you today. Every general cause holding your destiny captive is broken finally today. of idolatry, idolatry looking after other gods, pursuing after other gods, not knowing to your detriment. That siege is over today. Amen. May this God be to you to, from today as more than enough. Amen. Every closed up destiny reopens today. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. A powerful video by Bishop David Oedipo. You are welcome to the commentary section of this video where we will make powerful analysis about what the preacher was talking about. So, this video basically is just a comparison to repentance and um to make everyone understand that in the place of god um you have to take the things of god very serious like there were a lot of key and powerful statements bishop Oedipo made in this video that i would love you to just take your time and go back because there is nothing really much i want to say in this video that he has not said so it's just um, a way to compel you to go back to the things of God with your utmost desire as a believer. A lot of persons have lost taste for the things of God. A lot of persons have lost desire for the things of God. A lot of persons have lo lost a lot of um, things they've increased for the things of God. So it is high time you go back as a, as a child of God and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I am sorry for the things I have done. I want to retrace my steps back to you. So it is very important, it's very paramount as a believer that you must retrace your step as a child of God. I know that somebody who is listening to this video was blessed by that video. So I would love you to go back again. Take your time, watch the video. That video, this video is for you. Take your time, spend more time with intimacy with God this season. And you will see his hand and manifestation come through in the name of Jesus. Thank you for thank you everyone who has always been subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you everyone who has always taken the time to return back and watch our videos. This means a lot and it means that you're blessed on this channel. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Do have a great time and God bless you.